Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on I Did It My Way, which has nothing to do with Frank Sinatra. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 13. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. I will be at the uh, Mays Landing uh, Hamilton Mall in Mays Landing, New Jersey, from 12 to 5 tomorrow, Saturday, at Level Up Entertainment on the second floor for my signing, last signing of 2023. Come on out and get yourself a copy of The Pineys. Now, uh, this is a Hong Kong gangster flick, and you know I love those. Who doesn't love to see a Hong Kong gangster flick? First off, the rules are very simple. Everybody can be shot, killed, uh, stabbed, Everybody knows martial arts, and it's really tough to kill people. Oh, it's so tough. You can run people over and do all sorts of stuff to them, and it's, it's just impossible. Uh, this movie's about a gangster. This guy, I think it's, his name is George Lamb. It might be a real guy. That sounds familiar. Um, but he is expanding his operations into South America and on the Internet, He's getting more and more powerful. He's just killing everybody, having everybody shot. It's kind of like a Hong Kong version of uh, Scarface. Like he gets too big and eventually he's killed. So here's a scene. The cops, uh, let me turn off the sound. The cops may be able to trace us. Uh, he says, so what? <laughs> he doesn't care because he's so powerful there are the credits. I have no idea. Uh, January 12th, in theaters. I don't know if there's going to be a lot of in theaters in the United States. Maybe maybe in the major cities. New York, L.A., Chicago. Uh, mostly on the West Coast, where there's probably more Chinese people to see it. Um, but it looks fine. Looks, it looks, you know, full of action, full of death. First act, it's going to be the rise and fall. So first act, it's the rise of George here. Uh, he's already a powerful figure in the Hong Kong gangster community. And uh, I don't know, some of his cohorts are mysteriously, brutally murdered. And he goes up the ladder. The cops are on to him. I think he kills a cop and another cop's in a coma. And... Uh, he makes uh, another jump to a different level, and he's sh shipping drugs to South America. I thought South America had plenty of drugs, but apparently not. Um, he's expanding there, and on the Internet, they're out to get him. The second act's all about his rise. He's killing all his rivals, one after another. No mercy. It's very brutal. But by the end of the second act... He has extended himself. He's he's killed too many people. He's pissed off too many people. A few have survived. And now they unite uh, to fight against him. And eventually they attack his... Uh, looks like they attack his compound at the end of the movie. And he has to flee. And he's in a car. And I think he gets shot or whatever. So, you know, typical rise and fall of a, a brutal criminal. There's only two ways to go. Very rarely do these guys retire. It's usually jail or death. Sometimes they retire. Very rarely they do. A lot of times those guys are pushed out anyway. It's not that they really retired. It's just that it, they saw the writing on the wall. Well, I'm either going to be killed here or I could just retire and step out of it. I think the smarter ones retire, you know. Um kind of depends upon the era kind of depends upon who your your organization is hong kong guys i i don't see uh, chinese triads uh, retiring and that's what he probably is a chinese triad the triads are pretty brutal um there's usually no going back after being a triad um short of you know, complete sort of disappearance. Maybe maybe if you went to another country and took a different identity, maybe. That's a possibility, but definitely not in China. Um, the Chinese authorities, um, they sort of have to tolerate the triads to a certain degree because they are very powerful, but at the same time, 
they're going to use them, and that's one of the reasons they tolerate them. Uh, I'm sure the triads don't see it that way, but, you know, there's always going to be crime and corruption in uh, an authoritarian regime. Uh, these organizations tend to thrive because what would you rather be? Would you rather be a communist murdering people and doing horrible authoritarian things? Or would you rather live like a gangster until they catch up to you and kill you one day? Seems to me like if you had to choose between those two, you'd want to be a gangster. It'll at least be more fun. Uh, but but it's brutal. It's a brutal... I've read books on the triads, and it's it's pretty uh, brutal. But they don't have a normal organization like a regular um, crime family, as you may know it. Like, the Mafia has a very strict hierarchy. Um, so does the Yakuza. The uh, triad hierarchy is a little more loose... It's a little more independent. It's closer to Lastida, which means the star. It's a northern Albanian or a northern Italy Albanian uh, organization that is made up of uh, people who hate the mafia but are in still in organized crime, and they they're like cells in like terrorist cells. So there'd be five of them might meet because it's five points on a star, and uh, they might decide to do a bank robbery and three of them might be in the other two go nah and that's perfectly fine in Lastida. the triads operate similarly although they do have a boss the boss is mostly ceremonial for the purposes of turf warfare so if there is a war between two triad factions the triads have somebody to unite under and organize but they don't organize the day-to-day -day operations underneath him. He's still sort of an independent, although he would tend to be a more powerful triad. Uh, there's a lot of, um, uh, I guess you'd say, ego in that world. Although, you know, in every world. But there's a lot of uh, um, numerology. They're really into that. Uh, certain numbers are good. Certain numbers are bad for the triads. Triad three. Three being one of the best numbers. And uh, they have a very interesting and colorful history. And the uh, uh, triads, uh, the rare times they're interviewed, are perfectly willing to talk about their history because it's very interesting. It goes back about 1,500 years, if you can believe it. Um, so I highly recommend books on the subject. Um, this looks pretty, you know, jibes with what the triads would do. I mean, it's not super complicated. They make money anyway. <laughs> And, and they typically are very, uh, very brutal. You don't want to mess with the triads. You don't want to mess with any organized crime. Stay away from crime, I say. Crime, NG. And that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I say take it. Again, I'll be at uh, Level Up Entertainment in the Hamilton Mall in Mays Landing, New Jersey, tomorrow, Saturday. 12 to 5. Hope to see you there. We'll see you in the next one.